So today's project is this quite rare Westinghouse circle button call station. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the circle version of the triangle buttons and I've worked on those before in the past. However, today we're going to be working on the circle version and this is very, very similar to the triangle version. This is the back of the circle button and it's like I said, very similar. There's the same idea with the buttons and then the two lamp holders. Now in this case, the buttons and the lamp holders are in different positions. On the other one, the buttons would be here and the lamps would be here. So the overall style of the circle buttons are very similar to the triangle. So instead of there being the triangle light, there's the circle. And then likewise, instead of a triangle button, it's a circle and it still has the lines on it. So instead of the lines going across, there are lines in a circle. So unfortunately, the light portion on both of these is damaged. This one's missing a big chunk and this one's kind of cracked up. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, as for the buttons themselves, I went ahead and removed the little cotter pins that hold the buttons in. So I can just poke the buttons out. This is what the buttons themselves look like. Here's what the panel looks like without the buttons in it. Then on the back, there's the metal housing. So this is what holds the buttons in. And then there's also this flap that keeps the light kind of isolated on the correct side. So that's what the button looks like. Like I said, it's very, very similar to the triangle buttons. So there's not really a whole lot difference to see here. So for this project, I'm going to restore this as much as possible. I don't have any way to recreate these circle pieces here. So we're just going to have to deal with what I have, but I am going to try to clean the plate up some clean these buttons up a little bit, maybe repaint the little black in the lines, and then wire it up so it's a fully working call station. So the project is complete. I finished up the wiring for this panel and I figured I might as well go ahead and show you the contact setup for this because I didn't actually do that before. So looking at the back here, you'll notice that each button has three screws and then each lamp holder has two. So lamp holder is pretty self-explanatory. You put power between this and the bulb lights up. As for the buttons, it's pretty simple as well. Each time the button is pressed down, it pushes that metal disc between all three of these, completing the circuit. So you just pick two of them, and that would be your switch. So these are super simple to wire up, but as for the project, it is complete, and it looks really awesome. You can see here when I push the buttons, they light up. Here's without the light. So that's it for this project. It was a nice and simple one. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.